Hello and welcome to TA Academy. Today's lecture will be the concluding lecture on the topic of efficiency analysis for buck converters. We spent quite a few lectures discussing the different types of losses that we encounter in a buck converter, namely the DC power losses which arise due to conduction in the transistor Q1 and the diode D1. Also, we found out an expression for the AC power loss, which arises due to switching in the power transistor. So this arises due to switching and DC losses due to conduction in the transistor as well as the diode. So I strongly suggest that if you haven't watched my previous lectures where I derived expressions for the DC power loss as well as the AC power loss, then you should take a look into those lectures before proceeding with this one. You can find a link to both of those lectures somewhere on the top right. So today's design example goes something like this. We have an input DC voltage of 48 volts which we want to step down to 5 volts with a buck converter. We have the information that the switching frequency of the transistor is 50 kilohertz. And from here readily we can find out the time period as 1 over 50 K which is equal to 20 microseconds. The switching transition time Ts, which is either the rise time or the fall time of the transistor, smallest of the two. This transition time is given as 0.3 microseconds and we are asked to find out the efficiency of this converter, taking into account first only the conduction losses and finally the efficiency when we also include the switching losses. So this is the problem. So first we start with the conduction losses. So PDC, this is simply equal to I naught. So I will briefly recapitulate what I explained in my lecture on conduction losses for a buck converter. So from this figure you can see that during the T on stage of the converter, the load current I0 is flowing through the power transistor while during the T off stage, the current flows through the freewheeling diode. Therefore, the DC power loss is proportional to the average output current I0. So now the efficiency due to only the conduction loss can be calculated as the output power divided by the output power plus the DC power loss. And the output power is nothing but the product of the output voltage and the average output current. And we can put the value of PDC as I0. So I0 can be cancelled from this expression and we are left with V0 divided by V0 plus 1 which is the expression for the DC power loss. Now putting in the values of V0 as 5 volts we get the DC efficiency as 5 by 6 which is equal to 83.3 percent. Next we move on to the AC power loss PAC and this expression I derived in my lecture on in fact I had two lectures on AC power losses so let's go back and find the expression that I derived so the final expression that I derived for the AC switching loss which arises due to this transition during T off as well as T on of the 
power transistor. This expression I derived as 1 by 3 VDC times I0 times TS divided by T. So let's copy that expression here. VDC times I0 times TS divided by 3T. And now the total efficiency, which includes AC as well as the DC power loss, can be written as P0 divided by P0 plus PDC plus PAC. And putting in the values of P0, PDC and PAC, I can write And here I put in the value of PAC, which is VDC times I0 times TS divided by 3T. So I0 can cancel from the whole expression. And the final expression looks like this V0 over V0 plus 1 plus VDC times TS divided by 3t. So let's look at the expression for the total efficiency once again. This equals V0 divided by V0 plus 1 plus Vdc times Ts divided by 3t. And we have the info that the total time period is 20 microsecond and the switching transition period is 0.3 microseconds. If I plug these values here, I get 5 divided by 6 plus VDC is 48 volts times the switching transition period is 0.3 microseconds divided by 20 microseconds. Evaluating this expression, we get the final answer as 80. Point one percent. This is the total efficiency. So comparing this with the DC efficiency, we see that almost 17% of the loss was contributed by the uh, conduction loss in the diode as well as the power converter. And 3% of the loss is attributed to the to the switching loss is approximately equal to 3%. So that's it for today's lecture. I hope today's lecture made the concept clearer by going through a design example. In the next lecture, we'll continue with design problems for a buck converter. How do we select the switching frequency optimally and how do we design the different components, L0, C0, and so on. So that concludes our discussion on efficiency analysis. I hope you learned a bit from my lectures. So if you like my content, then please do subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more content coming for the different playlists that I have on my channel related to circuit theory, signals and systems, electrical machines, and many more courses are coming. So stay tuned for more content and see you in the next lecture. Bye.